mate, mate, help me, help me. And then I sort of got a bit dazed, walked up there, and before I knew it, I was on my back. But what caused him to stumble and fall? 19-year-old Dale landed face first in the bowl. All right, mate, what happened? Oh, I've just gone over the hip on my bike and yeah. my front tire I've just missed the mate, you got a, thing. Yeah, yeah you and got I'll come straight down on my egg on your head. You hit, you smashed your face. I landed face away. first. Did you black out? No. You got a solid head back. trauma can be life threatening. You dizzy or feeling sick? Or I don't like feel that? sick or dizzy. Like yeah, I just got a lot nose. of, I got a lot of pain and I know yeah. I've got a high pain tolerance, but this yeah. is killing me. Jake is not only concerned about head trauma. There's a risk. Dale has suffered a spinal injury. I'm starting to get a bit of pain up through here. Oh, up through the top of your head up here. How bad is it? One to ten. Oh, about six. About six. Okay, Dale. Yeah. We're just gonna um, we're just gonna put yeah, this collar on you. You comfortable with it? Yeah. Okay. You know. Yeah. Can never beat the concrete. Same as you can never beat a rock. Skaters hit the concrete. Surfers hit the rock. Stand up, just nice and slow. Yep. Keep your head straight. There you go, that's it, you're right. You're right. The Dale. traumatic experience sends him into shock. You right, Dale? Yeah. You right? Yeah, I'm really dizzy. Yeah, that's okay. Yes. Is that alright? Feel alright? Yeah, it's getting some off here. Paramedics Ooh. perform basic mobility tests. Mm. Can you pull me towards you? Does that cause you any pain to do that? Yeah. It does, where? In the neck? Oh, my right side. All right, did you lose consciousness? Uh, not that no, long. No. OK. All right, see you, Dale. No worries. Thanks. Lifeguards respond to a reported surfing injury. One of the guys from the surf school's run up here. Somebody said there's a pretty deep leg cut. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's a pretty good one. You're going to need to go to hospital. Yeah, I know. So, um, we might call an ambulance for you. It's probably the best thing. Yeah. French tourist Matteo is the victim of a fin shop. Matteo's razor-sharp fins slice deep into his thigh. All lifeguards can do is dress the wound and stem the bleeding. He didn't hit any arteries or anything, which is lucky. Lifeguards check for nerve damage. Oh, can you move your toes for us? Just try and move, you can move your toes and everything. Right. It's a major wound. Luke must monitor pain, shock and blood loss before paramedics arrive. I know how little we're going there, you need an ambo or anything. 20, 30 times a day, easy, you'd see near collisions, like you're watching the and you just, it just makes you cringe. That's pain there, mate. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Yeah. Pretty bad. yeah. <sighs> we can give you some pain relief, like the green whistle. Yeah. The powerful analgesic should provide quick relief. Yeah, in times of need, when people are in some serious pain, it, it um, yeah, it really helps them out before the ambos get here. If you just take, just breathe normally, and just breathe through that. The green whistle soon weaves its magic. Take two. <laughs> Pet rocks. <laughs> it looks like enjoy with a. <laughs> Matteo will require external and internal stitches. His escapades at Bondi will leave a lifetime scar. The quad bike can only go so far. Terry and Dino begin the rest of the journey on foot. He's on a rock shelf and it's sort of probably like a good 100 150 metres, even 200 metre walk from uh, either side to get a stretcher in there, so I don't know what they're going to do. I just, I was down there swimming. Yep. And then I got, you know, the swim right here. The man says he went for a swim, then somehow suffered a knife injury. Yeah. You've got a cut, a big cut there. Yeah. Or a deep cut. Yeah, that's it's it. It's only about, it's less than an inch. Yeah. But it's probably, what, the knife's gone into your leg, you think? A little. I would have felt on the back of the, on the bag and yeah. the knife was there, you know? Uh, yeah, the guy's got a puncture wound. It's more like a stab than a slash. Dino stems the bleeding. How are you feeling, Cora? Ah, oh, a little bit than I was Better before. days? But what caused him to stumble and fall? I told you I was itchy. Itchy? 
could be itchy. So you've had possibly an allergic reaction? That could be it, eh? Yeah. But that happened before you got in the water? No, when I was in the water. Oh, when you're in the water? Yeah, when I was in the water, it started getting itchy. And, and then I sort of started to get dazed, you know? Yeah. Like, um, like a hallucinating something. Walked up there, and before I knew it, I was on my back. Yeah. And, and I did the guy see you walk? Yeah, mate, mate, help me, help me. Paramedics arrive. Dino debriefs. Hey, Hello, guys, mate. how are you? Uh, big fella's uh, possibly had some sort of allergic reaction after a swim, fallen over, and um, knife's jabbed him in the leg. The knife itself may hold some clues. Uh, Can't you show me that knife, mate? Without doing any damage to anything. Another one. Have a look. Right up to there. That could have gone in a considerable yeah, distance. It sounds like it's disorientated or, or he's altered his level of consciousness and somehow he's landed on his knife. He's got a knife down here for some reason. We thought he was fishing, but he's actually a swimmer. With the mystery partly solved, the next challenge is logistical. He's weighing in at about 120, 130 kilos. So if he can't walk, then I don't know, they're gonna have to go plan B, which probably is gonna have to airlift him out. Maxi brings a specialized stretcher used for cliff rescues. And we're down in a ravine here. And we've got to try and extract the guy out. We need something with some sides so he doesn't roll off the stretcher. So we've brought the stokes that are in. No one is looking forward to the difficult extraction. Now, even Tora is having second thoughts. Any real pain in the leg? No. No. Cool. Well, it was a lot better than what before, anyway. Yeah. You know, like, when I came up here, I was like mm -hmm. hallucinating. He decides to risk walking. Paramedics and lifeguards monitor every step. So, yeah, he still has a pedal pulse in his foot. The water pressure's a little bit down, but it's still, you know, within normal range. Exactly what happened on Bondi's precarious cliffs still remains unclear. 